Big story, the case against Casey Anthony, the mother of the murdered child, back before a judge today. Now, today, both Casey and her attorney, Jose Baez, took questions under oath from the judge. We have team coverage from inside and outside today's hearing, starting with West 2's Bob Keeling. And Bob, this removes what some believe was a serious roadblock from this trial. Well, that's right. You know, this whole money issue. And, you know, I was sitting in court right next to George and Cindy Anthony, and I could see his fingers were actually crossed. I asked him why, and he said, I'm just hoping this goes well. And for Casey and Jose Baez, it did. Number four, the him that you refer to, is that Mr. Baez? Yes, it is. Between you and Ms. Anthony, is there any uh, literary rights fee agreement? Does one exist? No, sir. Judge Stan Strickland took a long walk down the defense team's money trail, asking one probing question after another. Oh, by the way, there was only one retainer agreement that you signed with Mr. Baez? Yes. All right. There's a minefield in the path of this case. It's, it's in the distance. Prosecutor Jeff Ashton argued they All don't want do any potential conflict of interest in how Baez may have raised money for Casey's defense to blow up in their faces later. We simply want this on the record now so that five years from now we aren't coming back on this case with the potential of having to retry it, wasting all the time you put into it. When it came to specific questions about how Baez is paying expenses, he was granted permission to answer the judge's questions behind closed doors. Minutes later, the judge returned satisfied. This was just a motion to determine whether a conflict existed. My finding is it does not. Now, for the time being, this does appear to put this whole money issue to rest. Where is the defense fund coming from? Since the principals actually answered the judge's questions under oath, he appears to be okay with their answers, at least for now. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Bob Keeley, West 2 News. Bob, thank you. And tense moments at the end of today's hearing when the judge scolded Jose Baez and the prosecution for squabbling. West 2's Amanda Ober joins us live from the newsroom with more on what this bickering was all about. Amanda? Well, this tense little exchange showed just how much the prosecution and defense are frustrated with each other. Prosecuting attorney Jeff Ashton appeared pretty angry over what he perceived to be a dig from Baez. Does not quell the concerns. At the end of Wednesday's hearing, Casey Anthony's attorney made one last request of the judge. Uh, I would just ask that uh, the court uh, advise the state of, you know, I, I'm concerned about the leaks we have, and I just <laughs> want to make sure that everything that was in camera stays in camera. Baez was asking the judge to remind the state what was said when the attorneys and Casey met privately in the judge's chambers needs to remain private. That comment left prosecutor Jeff Ashton hot under the collar. We don't need to be reminded of our ethical obligations, and that's pretty... Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, we understand. Thank you. That's it. No, no. You know what? This is getting old. Yes, it is. I'm getting tired. We're done. Let's get out of here. When asked about the confrontation, Baez offered one more snipe at Ashton. Well, I don't think I should comment on his temper tantrums. I asked criminal defense attorney Richard Hornsby if this type of squabbling is unusual. It's not uncommon, especially in highly contested and contentious cases. While it may not be uncommon, Hornsby says Baez would be wise to tread more lightly. He has to be careful about antagonizing the prosecution to the detriment of um, Casey Anthony. And, and that's the problem that... Um, us as defense attorneys take it. Sometimes we take these things very personal, but we have to recognize that our personal feelings can interfere with our client's case, and that's the danger that Jose Baez walks. Now, Hornsby says in his opinion, Ashton is a very bright prosecutor, but he can and has gotten hot under the collar in the courtroom, and it has in the past escalated to bickering. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Ober reporting West 2 News. Amanda, thank you, and you can follow continuously